Submerged in 13 metres of water, authorities say it could take up to a year to figure out exactly what went wrong when a seaplane carrying Compass Group CEO Richard Cousins and his family crashed into a Sydney river, killing all six people on board. Australia's Transport Safety Bureau says it's planning to raise the aircraft in an attempt to piece together the clues. We will be looking at a number of areas, um, particularly around the, uh, the aircraft's uh, components. Uh, we'll be removing those and examining them. We'll also be looking at uh, any recorded data that might be on the aircraft. On the business front, things are moving quicker. Compass has installed a new CEO with immediate effect. Dominic Blakemore had been due to take over when Cousins retired on April 1st. While his transition was cut short, he assumes a company which is considered one of the FTSE 100's best performing firms. Given that the share price was rising steadily for the last number of years and given that the relatively small decline in the share price today on the, on the tragic and, and news of his, of his passing in a few days ago just t tells us that how, how, well, how, how well managed the organisation was that it isn't just uh, all on one individual's head. Compass, with an annual turnover of almost $31 billion, employs around 550,000 people around the world, providing food services to schools, the armed forces and office workers. Cousins is largely credited with the company's success after transforming the balance sheet when he took over 11 years ago. Named one of the world's best performing CEOs by Harvard's Business Review, his death will leave a gap in not only his own company, but the entire business sector.